Hi mga kanayan, so this is Aurelio Isip and welcome to Isip na yan. So, in today's topic, no, we will talk about the angle measures. No? Meron tayong dalawang klase yung pagmamesure ng angles. Yan yung uh, degree measures and uh, radian measure. So, first, no, alamin muna natin what is the definition of angles no, or angle. Ang angle ay ibig sabihin, no, it is composed of two rays with common endpoint called vertex. So, kapag meron tayong ray 1 at ray 2, no? So, ray 1 and ray 2. So, this is the ray 1. This is ray 2. Form, ano, uh, with common endpoint or vertex. So, this is our angle, no? ito yung ating angle minsan tinatawag nating angle data ah theta theta no so ang ray 1 no min tinatawag yan ng ating initial side yan yung ating tinatawag na initial side no ah uh, stationary lang yan hindi yan gumagalaw no ang ray 2 naman ito yung ating terminal side no o ito yung rotating ito yung umiikot na side ito yung ating rate ang terminal side again no angle initial side ray 1 ray 2 tapos ito yung ating uh, vertex kailan natin masasabi no na angle is in the standard position no so, kailan natin masasabi yung angle is standard position? First, no, kailangan ma-meet niya yung requirements niya. Anong first requirement? Kailangan yung vertex ng angle, no, yung endpoint, yung pinag-meet nila ng endpoint, kailangan nasa origin ng Cartesian plane o meron siyang ordered pair coordinate na 0, 0. Kailangan nandun siya sa origin. Yung vertex ng angle, no, yung vertex na pala, yung vertex ng angle nga, nasa origin, na nakapatong sa origin. At, kailangan din yung yung ating initial side, no? Yung ating initial side, kailangan coincides, no? Nakapatong doon sa positive x-axis. This is our positive x-axis, negative x-axis. Kailangan din dito. So, masasabi natin, no? Na angle is in standard position. So, Paano naman natin malalaman, no, na ang angle is positive angles at ang angles is negative angles. So, tandaan, no, kapag ang ikot, no, from initial side, ang initial side niya, no, kapag ang ikot ng kanyang terminal side is counter clockwise, no, kasulangat ng orasan, ibig sabihin, yan ay positive angles. So, counter clockwise. So, mula rito, no, pag ganun. So, that is counter clockwise. Kapag clockwise naman, no, yung ikot ng, o, ng terminal side, ibig sabihin, so, this is positive, no, pag, pag ganun naman ang ikot, no, ng, ng terminal side, no, so, pag, pag ganun, yan ay positive, pag, pag ganyan naman, kaparehas ng oras, that is negative, ang uh, kanyang angles. So, ano naman yung ating coterminal angles? Pag sinabi natin coterminal angles, no? Yung terminal side ay the same ang kanyang sukat. For example, no? So, this is this is 30 degrees. For example, this is 30 degrees yung kanyang angle, no? So, mula rito, umikot siya, no? Mula rito, umikot siya at bumalik dito. So, nakakreate siya ng 390 degrees. Sa so, isang revolution sinabi ko kanina, ano? That is 360 degrees. So, nakaikot uli siya, no? Nagtama o nagpatong ang terminal side, no? 
ng sa 30 degrees siya, 390 degrees, ibig sabihin, the 30 degrees, ang co-terminal niya ang 390 degrees. Kapag dito naman tumama, sa ating uh, dito, sa gitna, no? So, for example, that is 90 degrees, no? So, 90 degrees, ibig sabihin, ang co-terminal niya, at umikot pa uli, no? Nang isa pa, that is 400 50, no? 450 degrees. Ibig sabihin, ang 90 degrees siya, 450 degrees are co-terminal angles. Na hindi ba? Ngayon naman, pwede rin naman yung uh, negative angles, no? So, if the terminal side, no? Meron tayong 200, uh, 330 degrees. So, ibig sabihin, parang hindi dito yun. So, 360, <coughs> mga dito yan, no? Yan yung 330 degrees, no? Approximation lang. So, ang may co-terminal angle to na negative 30 degrees kasi, no? Paklockwise yung ikot ng negative angle. So, ibig sabihin, 330 degrees at negative 30 degrees are co-terminal angles. Yun nga, no? We have two kinds of measure. So, degree measure and radian measure. Dito mga tayo sa degree measure. No, so it's a uh, degree measure, no. So ibig sabihin one complete revolution, no. Ibig sabihin that is 360. So mula rito sa 0 degrees, no. So yung terminal side natin ay umikot, no. One complete revolution meaning 360 degrees. Siya. Yeah, so yung 0 degrees at 360 degrees are co-terminal angle, no. So pwede siya kung punta rito mga possible na 45 degrees to no dito naman is 90 degrees so this is our half circle so ibig sabihin 180 degrees siya so this is our 270 degrees possible dito yung ating 30 degrees no ito naman yung ating 60 degrees so yan yung measure ng angle no in degrees dito naman tayo sa radian measure no kailan natin masabi ng radian measure is 1 radian kapag ang radius niya no ang radius niya ay equal sa intercepted arc no I think intercepted arc kung 5 units to 5 units to so ibig sabihin yung intercepted arc niya is 5 units masabi natin na siya ay 1 radian so let's have a conversion no paano ba tayo mag-convert ng degree to radian and radian to degree or vice versa no so meron tayong alam si namin natin kanina no yung 360 degrees no one complete revolution is equivalent to 2 pi radian no so 2 pi radian is equivalent to 360 degrees so pwede natin siyang i-divide nang 2 divide nang 2 so ibig sabihin ang um, pi radian natin is equivalent to 180 degrees. So, ito ang ating gagamitin para i-convert yung radian to degree and degree to radian. So, okay. Let's go to converting degree measures into radian measure and vice versa. So, as we can see here, no? So, this is 0 degrees. So, 45 degrees. So, may kita nyo na nahati sa apat no from this pi no from this figure no nahati siya sa apat so ibig sabihin no the 45 degrees is y pi over 4 or yung pi ay i-multiply natin sa 1/4 no so yung 90 degrees dahil ang mula rito hanggang dito is pi So, 90 degrees. So, i-divide natin siya sa 2. Because 90 degrees, because pi is equivalent to 180 degrees. So, 90 degrees is pi over 2 or multiply mo sa 1 half. Ang 135 degrees naman. No? So, 1 fourth, 1 half, 1 whole. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay 3 fourth. So, 3 pi over 4 ang ating 135 
degrees. So, paano naman natin yung 225 degrees? So, paano natin i-convert siya sa pi radian? So, 225 degrees, no? Imo-multiply natin siya sa, ang alam natin, di ba, ang 180 degrees is equivalent to 1 pi radian. So, dahil degrees yung nasa taas, ilalagay natin degrees ang nasa baba para makancel siya. So, 180 degrees, no? is equivalent to 1 pi radian. So, cancel yung degrees. No? So, ang matitira dyan is 225 pi over 180. So, we will get the lowest term. So, what is the lowest term? So, the numerator and denominator can be divided into 45. So, if we divide 45, It, 225 divided by 45 is 5 pi over 180 divided natin sa 45 is 4. So, yan, no? So, 5 pi over 4, meaning the 225 degrees is 5 pi over 4. Did you get? So, yung 315 naman, no? So, 315 degrees, we will convert it into radian measure. So, 315 degrees. So, again, mumultiply natin siya sa 180 sa baba. No? Kasi degrees to radian to. So, 180 degrees dito naman is pi radian. No? So, cancel the degrees. So, ang mangyayari dyan is 315 pi over 180. Again, no? Yung 315, pwede siya, ang 180 ay pwede siyang i-divide sa 45. So, 315 divide 45 is 7, no? 7 pi, pi over yung 180, pwede natin siyang i-divide sa 45 din. So, 4. So, ibig sabihin, 7 pi over 4 ang 315 pi. Degrees. So, let's go to this circle, no? Na no, hinahati siya ng by 30s. No? So, ibig sabihin, kung hinahati siya ng by 30s, alam natin ang pi is equivalent to 180 degrees, no? So, mahahati siya sa 6, no? 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, kasama to, no? Nakita na natin to, this is 90 degrees, no? So, nahati siya sa 6, ibig sabihin, no? I-divide natin to sa... 6, kasi ito yung unang hati, no? Pi over 6. So, ibig sabihin, 30 degrees is equivalent to pi over 6. Ngayon, no? Yung 60 degrees, no? Lalagyan natin siya ng pangalawang hati. So, 2 over 6 pi. Eh, what is 2 over 6 pi, no? Pwede natin ilawis term ang 2 over 6, which is 1 third. So, ibig sabihin, or no pi over 3 na lang 1 third yung 2 over 6 pwedeng pi uh, over 3 na lang ang kanya ngayon naman so ito ay uh, pangatlong hatid it uh, nakita nakuha na natin yan no 90 degrees that is pi over 2 yung 120 degrees no pang ilang hati na yan pang 1 2 3 4 so 4 pi over 6. Pwede natin ilawas term yung 4 and 6 which is 2 third, no? 2 over 3. Or 2 pi, pi over 3. Yan yung 120 degrees. Ganun naman yung 150 degrees. Ang 150 degrees ay pang ilang hati? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5 na hati. So, 5 pi over 3. 6, yung ating 150 degrees. No? Itong 180, 6 over 6 or 1. No? Pi region. So, paano naman kapag ito, no? yung 7 pi over 6. So, 7 pi over 6. So, ili, from pi region, gagawin natin degree. No? So, degree measures. So, dahil pi yung region nasa taas, pi region yung lalagyan natin sa baba. So, pi radian, no? Sa taas yung ating 180 degrees. So, tanggal yung cancel yung pi radian. So, ang mangyayari is 7 times 180 degrees 
over 6 is what is 7 times 180 degrees so that is 1260 degrees over 6 or no 1260 degrees or yan ay meron 210 degrees so ibig sabihin this is 210 degrees no? ngayon naman no alamin natin kung ano yung degree measure ng 11 pi 11 pi radian over 6. Again, no? multiply natin siya sa pi radian. Ito naman yung 180 degrees. So, 11 pi ay 11 times 180 no? over degrees to, no? over 6. So, pwede natin cancel in to, no? Ilang 6 meron sa 180. So, yan ay merong 30. No? So, ibig sabihin, 11 times 30, that is 330 degrees. So, ibig sabihin, this is 330 degrees. Ang 11 pi over 6. No? That's all for this video, mga kanayan. So, mag-iiwan ako sa inyo ng tanong. No? So, kung ito ang 5 pi over 3 no what is the degree so letter a no? convert 5 pi over 3 no into degree measure and letter b no so letter b letter b what is the 270 degrees so what is 270 degrees in pi region naman. So, that's all, no? So, don't forget uh, to like, no, this video. And share natin sa iba, no? Sa mga nangangailangan ng ganitong topics. And then, don't forget to subscribe. No? So, that's all. So, good luck, soldier!